In the last video, we talked about negative numbers, and at this point, you should be able to answer these questions, so I'm going to go through the solutions to these now. But as always, if the last video helped you and you wish to support the channel, you can subscribe as a member for either $2 or $5 Canadian a month, and that will help me continue to make videos on YouTube for mathematics, linguistics, and philosophy education. So, let's take a look at these. We need to evaluate the following, which means we just need to simplify it as much as we can. So what I see here is I see a negative outside a bracket where two things are being added together. So in my head I'm thinking, okay, this is the same thing as negative 1 times 3x plus 2y, and then I'm adding 4 off to the side. So I'm not going to have to deal with the 4 here, it's just an extra thing. So using the distributive, distributivity rule, as in the properties of real numbers, this is just an application where we have a negative. So we're going to do negative 1 times 3x. We're going to do negative 1 times 2y, and we'll add those together. So negative 1 times 3x plus negative 1 times 2y, and then we're going to add 4 after. So when we multiply this, remember using the real number line example, if you have some number a and you multiply it by negative 1, you're just flipping it around the real number to get that negative version of it. So if we do negative 1 times 3x, what we get is negative 3x. When we do negative 1 times 2y, we get negative 2y. And then we add 4 to that. So this is about as far as we can go because we have 1 with an x, 1 with a y, and then 1 without any variable. So we can't really uh, mash these together anymore. So that's how you evaluate the first one. The second one's a little bit more complicated. We have division and we have adding a negative number, and we're subtracting three times a negative variable. So I want to do this step by step. Let's take a look at how we can simplify 6x over 2. Well, this is the same thing as 6 over 2 times x. So if we think about 6 over 2, 6 divided by 2 is just the same thing as 3. We can't do anything with x. So 6x over 2 gives us 3x. So I'm going to keep track of this on the right. So this is equal to 3x for the first term. Let's take a look now at a times negative 12. What do, we, what do we learn here? Well, if we have a negative number and we multiply it by a positive number, we just multiply the numbers together and we get the negative version of it. So this is like a times 12 times negative one. So this will give us 12a times negative one, which will give us negative 12a. So that's as much as we can simplify that. So we're going to do 3x. To keep this simple, we're going to add negative 12a. And at the end, I'm going to switch this to a negation sign. OK, the last one. We are going to subtract 3 minus x. So we're just going to deal with 3 minus x. And this is the same thing as we had above. So it's going to be 3 times negative 1 times x. So we're going to take 3 times x together to give us 3x, and then multiply that by negative 1, and we'll get negative 3x. So at this point, we are then subtracting negative 3x. So these are the three expressions that have been simplified. But now that we've done that for each one, we can make this a little bit cleaner. So 3x is going to remain the same. But what does it mean when we add negative 12a? Well, that's the same thing as subtracting 12a. What if we subtract negative 3x? Well, what does this mean, minus negative 3x? This is the same thing as negative 1 times negative 1 times 3x. So these negatives are going to cancel, and we're just going to be left with 3x. So subtracting negative 3x is just the same thing as adding 3x. So that's almost our final result. The last thing we can do to simplify this is we can take our 3x's together. We know they're the same thing. So I have 3 of something. I have 3 more of something. And that gives us a total of 6x. And then we subtract 12a. So that is the final solution here to this problem. 6x over 2 plus a times negative 12 minus 3 times negative x is just the same thing as 6x minus 12a. 
and you've done this using the properties of real numbers and the properties of negative numbers. So, if you have any questions about these solutions, feel free to ask in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer you when I can.